My Wyndham Rewards Earner business card has arrived all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we are going to unbox it. And you are going to watch me do it. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Max Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. Now I'll have you all know that I used to have the BBVA Select card, which was recently bought out by PNC Bank. So at this moment, right now that I'm recording this video, I'm still waiting for my new PNC Cash Rewards card in the mail. So I really don't know 100% for sure if this is my new Wyndham card or this is the PNC Bank card. And I looked around the entire web for at least 10 to 12, maybe 15 minutes for pictures of the new PNC Cash card versus the Wyndham Rewards Earner Business card. And both of them, when you look at them on the web, neither of these cards show images right now that show numbers on the front of the cards. You know, like the type that are punched on the back so they kind of stand up on the front. But this envelope, if I feel it kind of right here, I feel some raised numbers. So I guess it could be neither of the two cards I'm expecting. Maybe it's some replacement card of another one of mine expired. I really don't even know, but I think it's the Wyndham Rewards card. If it is, then great, I titled this video properly. If it's not, then I'll have to go rename the video after this video. So let's get to it. I'm going to use two devices, a rubber silicone spatula and some red scissors. And that's all we need that for. Okay, let's get started. If I end up cutting through the card or all the materials, I'm gonna be a little bit mad at myself. So far, so good. The moment of truth. Which card did I get? It's the Amex Black card. Just kidding. It's actually my Wyndham Rewards Earner Business card, which is still too long of a name to say over and over again. So we'll call it the Wyndham Biz card. Anyway, I'm going to cover up some sensitive information here on the front and then be right back. That means sticky notes. All right, so here's all the crazy stuff that they send you. And as you can see right here, my credit limit is a total of $1,000. And if you happen to be curious about why I only have the $1,000 line or even the whole story behind getting the card in the first place because there was no regular Watch Me Apply video, you should watch this video right over here. Yes, the title is dramatic. Yes, the thumbnail is even more dramatic. And the story behind it all is the most dramatic. I'll be sure to link to it down below in the description as well as put it as an end card to this video because you'll definitely want to watch that one after this one. All right, back to this. Or rather, the part you all care about this. Let's unmask or unveil the card. Oh, there truly are numbers on the front. Hold on while I cover those up too. I have returned. Three, two, one. Ta-da! The Wyndham Rewards Earner Business Credit Card. Let me give you a closer view of this right here. I will, of course, take the white sticker off as well. That way we can see it a little bit better. Actually, there we go. The light starts to catch it a little bit. It's a very shiny card. So again, let me peel off that sticker and I'll be right back once more. Hello again. All right, so here is your close-up view of the Wyndham Earner Biz card. Uh, if the light catches it properly right there, it actually kind of shines a bit when the light catches it, kind of cool a little bit of a sparkle effect as well. So I'd say overall a decent uh, looking card, um, but unlike the marketing images that I used online, which you can see right here, it's a very clean front with no punch numbers or even printed numbers on the front, but clearly this has the old perforated or whatever the right word is. The numbers are punched from the back of the card, so they are raised and elevated on the front of the card. So uh, for those of, of you who don't really like that, I personally don't love it. It doesn't bother me too much, the design is fine, but it does make the card, of course, thicker in the wallet, which is a bit of a bummer. Then here is the reverse of the card as well. Nothing too exciting here, but um, you can see that little, I've covered it up mostly, but it's that uh, eagle or dove rather representing the Visa logo as well. It is a Visa signature card, so that should give it some additional benefits too. And yes, it's also a plastic credit card, so here are a few plastic drop tests. Plastic, still plastic, Haha, <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? 
Then for the additional information that came in the envelope, here is a tap to pay and be on your way brochure. A nice little rhyme that they did there. Q&A on the back as well, basically talking about the contactless technology of the card. Hopefully that sticky note didn't cover it up. Nope, we're good. You can see those little four bands, like a Wi-Fi logo on the back. That simply represents contactless technology, so you can tap this card on a terminal to pay. Should also be compatible with mobile wallets like Apple Pay, Android Pay, etc. We then have the Visa Signature Business Card Holder Guide to Benefits to look at all the different protections that may or may not come on this card, as well as the, what is this one here? Oh, the What Does Barclays Bank Do With Your Personal Information brochure. So this talks about all the ways that they share data with all their affiliate partners, other financial companies, etc. Just good to be aware in case you uh, are protective of your personal information. And then lastly, the account table summary of all the rates on my account. So my interest rate or APR on this card is 15.99%. Of course, this unfolds quite a, wow, a really long way to have a bunch of fun on Saturday night reading all this stuff. And although it's fun to poke fun at the amount of legalese they send you in envelopes and of course online PDFs and all that, always make sure that you do read these terms if you're not already familiar with how credit cards work. That way you know how to use them responsibly and therefore get the rewards and benefits to your advantage rather than having the bank win and charge you interest. So be smart and watch this channel. Now in case you're wondering why did I get this card in the first place, well there were five main reasons and the first one of course was the wonderful, huge, juicy welcome bonus. As I record this video on October 24th, the welcome bonus has gone back down to 45,000 points, but back when I applied for it on September 18th, over a month ago, it was at 90,000 points. It was broken up into two different tiers, the first of which was to earn 60,000 bonus points after spending $1,000 on purchases in the first 90 days, plus then tier two, earn an additional 30,000 bonus points after spending a total of $2,000 in the first six months. So 1K spend in 90 days and then 2K spend in six months, all in the average there was $333.34 per month, and therefore it was a very, very easy requirement to make. Especially when you consider that the cash value of these points toward a hotel stay within the Wyndham portfolio of properties or of their partner properties as well would be around $900, potentially a bit more as well. Reason number two was Diamond Elite status in the Wyndham Rewards program, which by the way is their highest tier. That level provides benefits like early check-in, late checkout, suite upgrades, welcome amenities, and more. And when there's an opportunity to get mid-level to high-level or even top-tier status through a credit card within a given hotel program, that also not only gives you great benefits within that program, but it puts you in a great position to get status matches with other programs to leverage your status across multiple programs and get benefits all over the place. Which brings me to reason number three, the Caesars partnership and status match. So there are a bunch of great Caesars properties in different locations, primarily in Las Vegas, which is the one that most people know about. Uh, so there's Caesars, Harrah's, Nobu Hotel, the Cromwell, Bally's, and more. So of course, by getting that high level status with Wyndham, I can then match it over to Caesars and enjoy benefits in that program. Reason number four for getting this card was the anniversary bonus. So I'll receive 15,000 bonus points each year that I keep the card open and pay the $95 annual fee. And since I value those 15,000 points more than the cost of the $95 fee, it does make a lot of sense. Currently, Wyndham and partner properties are redeemable for 7,500 points, 15,000 points, or 30,000 points per night. So the way I look at it is I'm getting a night every year for $95. And of course, the simple strategy would be to redeem those 15,000 points for a night that costs more than $95. So if I find a property of 150, 200, 250, then I'm already winning in a nice way. And reason number five there at the bottom is that this is a business credit card. So it does not appear on my personal credit report and therefore it does not count towards the Chase 524 rule. Because if it doesn't appear on your credit report, then Chase can't see that it even exists. So they can't count it against you when applying for a Chase card. And that is awesome. So to wrap it all up, here's one more view up close of the Wyndham Rewards Earner Business Card. And just for a little bit more fun, here is the old personal card that I used to have a number of years ago. This one's now been discontinued, but notice how they kind of kept a very similar theme through their cards. I'd still like to know which one do you like better? Let me know down below in the comments.
And with that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit or entertain others, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Max Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. I almost forgot, about a year ago from the making of this video, I did another launch video when these new Wyndham cards first came out. This business one, the uh, top tier personal one with a $95 fee, and the no fee personal one as well. There are currently three Wyndham Rewards credit cards. Here's a video I did back then, again about a year ago. So if you want to learn more about about these cards. I don't believe anything has changed since a year ago. You can go watch that video as well. I'll also link it down below in the description. And for any of you out there who may be road trippers, budget travelers, or like to go to Las Vegas at least once or twice a year, or maybe more, then definitely check out the Wyndham Rewards credit cards. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value and of course a little bit of fun as well. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great.